fiscal structure has done more than a few hiccups. It's been more like violent upheavals, and it's affected all of us. But strangely enough, because of those upheavals, it may finally bring a 25-year project to an actual beginning of construction. As incredible as that may seem. I had two individuals come down from Boston last night to see me, and they were supposed to be here at 6.30. They didn't get here until quarter past 7. And they told me what we already know down here. The traffic from Boston was horrible. I said, no kidding. I said, call the governor and all the legislators tomorrow and let them know that. We've been trying to get that across to them for over 25 years. But finally, the project is moving along. And I want to give a lot of credit for this to soldiers on the ground who are here, along with Christine Egan, to move this project ahead and make sure it gets done. I was asked for a comment the other day about the alternatives put more bus service on 24. And you know, it is laughable if you're sane. But if you're proposing that as an alternative, you don't need to get your head examined. You need a brain transplant. If you really think you can put more buses on 24 and 128 and Route 3 going into Boston, and you're going to alleviate traffic, you're nuts. Absolutely. And I think it's preposterous for us to even waste the ink to put that on a piece of paper as an alternative. It's not a viable alternative. And this project will come to fruition because Route 24, Route 128, and Route 3, as we know them now and today, are becoming parking lots for a greater amount of time every single month that goes by. It may only be another minute every month, but that parking lot is being extended as time goes on. Until it gets to the point where no one's going to be able to travel, or it gets to the point that we finally get some common sense and get rail service. I believe we've now come to the point of getting common sense in here, of protecting our environment, protecting the wear and tear on individuals who get up in the morning in Fall River and New Bedford, perfectly normal, until they drive to Boston and get to Boston, at which point, if they had an AK-47, there would be tremendous damage done. So it's not just our environment that's damaging, it's human beings. They're getting frazzled, they're getting depressed. They're on high blood pressure medication unnecessarily. All of these things come about because we haven't really met our obligation in this commonwealth of providing proper public transportation for our people. And this rail link is critical for four of our New Bedford Southeastern Mass and for Boston and every single city and town around Boston. It's as critical to them as it is to us. They just haven't recognized it. 